welcome back to Seven Vlogs. If you've been here before, great to have you with us again. If you're new here, my name is Ben James and welcome to the channel. I'm excited to be back sharing more of my animal videos and latest attractions around the area with you. Whether you're here for the first time or you're a returning subscriber, I'm glad you're here for this video. There's so much to discover today and I can't wait to dive into the first video back. So, today we're exploring one of my absolute passions, the Highland Cow. These beautiful shaggy creatures aren't just icons of the Scottish Highlands, but they're a symbol of strength, resilience and gentle nature. Join me as we spend a day in the life of these wonderful creatures and discover what makes them so special. Well, where do we start? Well, the Highland Cow has been part of the British landscape for hundreds of years, dating back as far as the 6th century. With their distinctive long horns and thick shaggy coats, they are perfectly adapted to survive in the harshest of weather conditions, especially in the Scottish Highlands. As a matter of fact, these iconic coats aren't just for show. It's actually a key part of how these wonderful creatures thrive in some of the most rugged environments in the world. These cows aren't just pretty faces though. Highland cattle are known for their friendly, gentle temperament. Despite those imposing horns, they are surprisingly docile and often quite curious about humans. Each cow has a unique personality some are more playful than others, more are a little bit laid back, but all share a calm nature that makes them a joy to be around. But one of the most fascinating things about these Highland cows are their grazing habits. They can spend up to eight hours a day grazing on the rough pasture. Their diet mainly consists of grass, shrubs, and sometimes even seaweed if they're near the coastline. This breed is incredibly hardy. They can find food where other cattle would struggle, which is why they're such a great fit for less fertile land. And let's not forget their grooming habits. Highland cows often use their horns to scratch these hard to reach places, and they're not too shy about giving each other a little groom as well. Their thick coat, which is actually made up of two layers, which is a long outer layer and a soft woolly undercoat helps them keep warm and dry and well protected from the elements of weather. However, raising hiring cows does come with its challenges. Even though they're resilient, they still need proper care. Regular checkups, vaccinations and hoof care are all a part of maintaining a healthy herd. Farmers often have to monitor their diet closely, especially in the winter months when natural grazing is scarce. But you but ask any farmer and they'll tell you these cows are worth every penny and worth all the effort. Also, they are incredibly smart. They can recognise their caregivers' response to their names and even solve simple problems. If you've ever seen a Highland cow work its way through a gate, you'll know what I mean. They're clever creatures who always keep you on your toes. And here's a myth buster. Despite their intimidating horns, they are not aggressive. They actually use their horns for more defensive purposes against predators in the wild or to reach foliage rather than fighting. These gentle giants also play a crucial role in sustainable farming and conservation. Their grazing patterns help manage the land, promote biodiversity and actually prevent overgrowth. This makes them invaluable for conversation projects. Where their natural grazing helps maintain healthy ecosystems. Plus, Highland beef is known for being a bit more leaner and higher in omega-3, making it a healthier option compared to other beef products. Well guys, that is it from me today, but thank you for joining me uh, on this exploration of the Highland cow. They're more than just animals, they're a part of our heritage and a reminder of the beauty and resilience of nature. So don't forget guys, like this video, subscribe to the channel and share it with anyone who loves these beasts as much as what we do. Until next time, keep exploring, keep discovering and I'll see you on the next adventure. 
from me, Ben James. See you next time.